In this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through five of Marcus Miller's best slap licks. Stick around. Hey guys, Hugh Richardson from OnlineBassGuitar.com here. Just a quick one, in this video, I'm gonna put up tab of each of the licks below as we go through it. So if you need to pause or rewind or rewatch or any of that stuff, feel free to do so. If you do like what you see, consider subscribing. And without waiting any further, let's get into the first lick. So Marcus's first lick is what I call a double slap stroke. Now it sounds like this. And here's how I'm doing that. In just the same way that this trampolina utilizes the tension in the springs and on the surface of the trampoline to bounce up and down, you should aim to utilize the tension in the bass string itself so that when your thumb goes in for the first slap stroke, it hits the surface and then rebounds back off and comes back in for the second stroke. So this technique is how Marcus gets all those quick slap ghost notes into a line. The second lick is what I call a double pop stroke. Now it sounds like this, and here's how I'm doing that. You should aim to have your fingers work in almost exactly the same motion that this combine harvester is gathering up the wheat. So here you're tucking the outside part of your fingers underneath each one of the strings, in this case the D and the G string, and then just like the combine harvester, I rotate away a little bit and pluck the D string with my index finger and then rotate away some more and pluck the G with my middle finger. In the context of a line, this can just add a really, really cool textured snap or some extra ghost notes to a groove. Now we move into a fundamentally different approach with lick number three, which is this triplet lick. So how am I doing that? There's a great saying which is that many hands make light work of a job, and that's exactly what's going on here. In this video of the two people moving the couch, there's no doubt that the couch is easier to move because there are quite literally more hands on the job. I'm not making my right hand do all the work, instead what I'm doing is I'm splitting the triplet between two hands by playing a slap stroke with my plucking hand, a muted tap with my left hand like this, and then an extra pop with my right hand again. So in the context of a line, here's how you might use that. Lick number four takes this idea of splitting the work between two hands, but it pushes it in a different direction because lick number four is all about trying to blend things that sound similar. So here's the lick, then I'll explain what I mean. When chefs cook different meals, they often blend together different ingredients that either are similar or that are complementary. So pork and applesauce, tomatoes and curry powder, strawberries and ice cream. Who does not love strawberries and ice cream? That same concept is at play in this lick because I'm combining different things from different hands that all sound percussive, so they're all gonna fit together and work to create a really great slap lick. So I start off by playing an open slap note here, uh, and then I use a hammer on, percussive sound, another hammer on as a percussive sound, and then you can finish that with either another slap stroke or a pop, depending on what you prefer. In the context of a groove, this can add something really, really exciting and really, really flashy. It's definitely a show-stopping lick. Now, before I show you the very last monstrous slap lick, I want to point out something, which is that a few of you watching this might be thinking, okay, these licks are cool, but there's way more to sounding like Marcus than just knowing the licks, and you're absolutely right. There are a lot of sort of secret marginal gains, uses of pedals, uses of EQs that go into getting his tone and in his setup. And if you want to know what they are, I've done a video on them, which you can check out by clicking the card up here, and it's also linked below down in the description. So make sure you check that out. But before you do, let's take a look at the very last lick. So lick number five actually has quite a lot in common with boxing, which might sound weird, but I'll explain that in a second. Here's the lick, and here's how I'm performing that. Here you can see a boxer practicing his punching. What you'll notice if you look closely is that he's practicing combinations of different punches, and this is exactly what's going on with this last lick. What Marcus does a load of the time is he'll make his own slap lick combinations just like the boxer does. So what he's doing here is he starts off with a double pop stroke, and then he follows that with a quick slap and then pop from something like the triplet lick and puts them together. And in the context of a groove, it sounds really sort of flashy, really show-stopping.
And as you can hear, that lick sounds amazing. Now you know Marcus's licks, if you wanna know some of the secret things that go into getting his tone, make sure you check out the video that's linked up here. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another lesson real soon. Take care.